hello guys welcome to my 11th video on c programming in this video i will show you how to implement stacks using structures so before getting started uh, i want to say something that uh, in my previous few couple of tutorials um, my voice is very low so uh, i'm sorry for that uh, and trust me guys uh, you will never face any troubles in my future videos and also in this so now let's get started so <coughs> stacks and queues are the most important concepts in C so stack is nothing but uh, last in first out and a queue is uh, first in first out so let me explain a uh, queue first uh, if you are standing in a, a theater for, t for buying tickets you have to stand in queue so that is the uh, that is Q uh, to be used in this program also and stack is uh, uh, arranging plates so if you arrange plates one by one the last uh, the last plate you placed will be first taken out so that is stack so uh, so now let's start building that uh, stack so for stack we are going to use structures so let's build structures first struct my struct st so anything placed inside this struct is public so you can uh, so uh, uh, any number of methods can make use of these uh, variables placed over here now build an array i will name it as my array and the size is 10 variable the soul you can name anything you like uh, now the three methods are int push int pop and void So now this uh, function will insert an element into the array stored array in this struct structure. So to make use of the variables uh, uh, placed in this structure, uh, we need to uh, put uh, st. So this is uh, uh, th this is the name uh, uh, by which we can access the variables uh, over here. So st dot so here it pops out the two variables uh, placed over there so now I have to increment the soul value with 1 so every time this function is called it will increment the value of soul with 1 so to push an element into this array we need to receive so to receive I am going to place the parameter so, every, so this uh, push will be called with an element to be pushed into this array so now let's start this pushing process. Um, st dot my array st dot the soul equal to i. Now the item passed to this push a function will be assigned to the array, and uh, this is the location uh, or the place where this uh, item has to be placed by default it will be zero once when this method is called this soul value is incremented with one so the my arrays first place will be uh, allocated to the item uh, same over here so uh, once this process is completed Printer statement item pushed. Okay. Now for this uh, for this pop function will delete the element at the top of the array. So uh, so this uh, function doesn't need any parameters. So let's start this uh, deletion process. Mm, st dot my array st 
fifteen dot so st dot so minus minus so now uh, we are taking the current element the top element from the array and assigning it to a variable temp so now this temp will hold the highest uh, the topest element in the array and uh, we are decrementing the uh, value of the soul uh, with minus one so when this called it will the value of uh, soul is incremented with one uh, when the pop is called it will decrement the value of a uh, mine uh, with the one uh, so when uh, once it is decremented the we can never access this value directly so we are taking a backup of uh, this variable the top element uh, in this temp and we are returning return temp so like that uh, here comes the display so this function will display then the all the elements in the array uh, which are stored in the order of stacks so before uh, writing this let me show you this so uh, so just consider this as a, a stack so this is for demonstration purpose only so don't blame me for this um, in this stack the elements are stored in this uh, type so the first element will be stored uh, here and the second and the third <coughs> and the fourth so the topmost element <coughs> uh, will be the last number entered by the user okay so now if you use the normal for loop uh, it will start looping uh, uh, from this so 0 to for 0 to 3 whereas here uh, as we are dealing with uh, stacks we need to retrieve the elements from top to bottom so from 3 to 0 so for that we have to reverse the loop for loop for Let's initialize the variable i i equal to st dot the so st dot oops uh, i greater than equal to zero i minus minus so if you have any trouble in understanding this you can uh, look at my second uh, video for on for loop. Um, so now this will reverse the element and uh, display them. So use the printf percentage t comma uh, st dot my array. So that's it. So here comes our main function. Main function should be named as main. Right now. <coughs> and this is the uh, function main function which is executed first when the program starts running so now here let's put a heading mm, as stop operation So now the output will have uh, a menu with uh, four items. So you need to choose which one you need. You need uh, the program to perform. And, uh, display the final thing. Print up. Uh, enter your choice. And let's 
let's store this choice in variable c so use scan up to store the choice in c now okay, here comes our switch statement Case one printer enter the number to be push and let's get this input and store it in So when the user inputs a number it's going to call the push function with the parameter of item and yeah that's it so finally we have to break the state break the case one and here comes the case two that's for this uh, we need to make a new variable not necessary item is equal to pop so once uh, this uh, method this function is called it will document the value of uh, first it will uh, take a backup copy of the top element and it will document the value of soul and uh, it will return the uh, element which is at the top um, uh, now the printer popped out element is percentage two and the value is item so that's it the half stops are over here is our very easy thing case three just call this display as it is in white there is no any return statement and for case 4 it's very simple exit with value 0 so fine so everything is set to go now uh, now when when you run this program you can enter only one choice at a time so if you want to push uh, you can push the element but you cannot display or pop the element uh, you you never get that get that option to whether to continue the program or not so for that purpose we are going to have a do while loop so this loop will keeps on looping this uh, statements placed under do while parenthesis until this while uh, condition evaluates to false this condition is let me make a char variable and it turns answer okay answer is equal to get char right now uh, loop the these uh, thing uh, when the answer is not equal to the character uh, n okay so once you hit n uh, hit a capital N on the enter on your keyboard the program terminates other than that it keeps on looping this uh, looping these things so now let's check uh, one second and uh, run this program and see what happens yeah now enter your choice first push the element sorry guys here I I have put a uh, uh, C instead of D uh, so now I changed this to D 
so and um, here add a break statements under the each case so that's it so now let's check out the program and see what happens push enter the number to be pushed let it be 51 so we got item pushed now enter the second choice pop so now the popped out element is 51 so we, we enter 51 and the popped out the top element is 51 so it gets popped out and it pushes on the number um, 89 56 so we know that um, 56 is the last input and let's view what it is uh, so again I made a mistake over here so um, I just uh, did, the, did that actually this is the uh, error with this uh, printf statement so now let's try for the final time let's input push um, 89 push 56 let's view so now we got 56 as the top element and the 89 as the second element now when we try to pop 56 is uh, at the top which is pop out so that's it um, we got the answer so thank you for watching see you guys in the next video